If there's one thing you want with a speaker system, it's flexibility. And with its wireless audio system, Hamilton have definitely provided us with that. We're going to look at three elements of that system in this video. We're going to look at the wireless streaming amplifier, we're going to look at the ceiling speaker, and we're also going to look at the wireless active speaker. Now I'm going to install this system in my studio here so that you can see how easy it is to get it up and running. Let's look at the wireless amplifier first of all. Now, unless you're in the habit of installing audio, the thought of installing amplifiers and speakers can start to make you feel a little bit nervous when you start thinking about impedances and power ratings and things like that. But Hamilton have taken the fear out of that situation by making it easy to connect all the components together. And in fact, having a separate amplifier has some advantages. It means that you can leave it accessible in, say, a cupboard or a storeroom and be able to get to it at a later date without removing any speakers from the ceiling. So as well as powering the ceiling speaker system, this bit of kit really is the brains of the setup. It can connect via Wi-Fi to your home network or you can hardwire it with a data cable. It's also got a Bluetooth connection to connect your mobile devices to the system as well, which also opens up the opportunity for connecting, say, your Echo to the Hamilton system. And that means that you can control certain elements of the system with Alexa. Also, another little feature that I absolutely love is that it's got a USB port, as you can see here, where you can connect up a storage device with music on it as well. That's absolutely perfect for people like myself who held out for a long time against paying for a streaming service, so that's a really good bonus. And as well as all this, you've got line-in and line-out connections, allowing this to connect to your existing sound system, which I'm sure you've spent hours of your life and much of your money putting together over the years. In terms of installation, it couldn't be simpler. Out of the box, you just simply screw on the two antennae. One of them is for the Wi-Fi here, and then the other one is for the Bluetooth, so that's nice and simple. And then all you've got to do once you've got those screwed on is connect up the power supply, and that power supply can either be plugged into a socket outlet, or you can cut the plug off it and hardwire it into a spur. And that's it on the main side. For the audio side, the connections are also really simple. Now it's worth noting at this stage that the amplifier has both a left hand, a right hand channel, as you can see here. If you're connecting two speakers up, you'll need to run two cables from here, one to each speaker, and that gives you stereo sound. However, if you're only running one speaker, then you'll still need to run a connection for each channel to the speaker, otherwise you'll lose whatever's coming from the channel that you don't connect up. Let me show you what that looks like by actually installing the ceiling speaker. So I'm going to put two of these into the ceiling of my studio here, and I've already cut the mounting hole out for one of them. Now normally I'd make the connections and then install the speaker, but I can actually access the terminals from above the ceiling, so I'll do these last on this occasion. So I just push the speaker into the hole in the plasterboard, and then we tighten up the screws, and as we do so you can see that it brings those lugs tight up against the plasterboard, fixing the speaker firmly in place. Now let's talk about connections. It couldn't be easier. At the amplifier end, I've connected the red and black to the positive and negative terminals of the right channel for this speaker, and I'll do the same at this end. Making the connection couldn't be easier. I'll just push down this terminal, push the conductor in and release, and that's it done. Same again for the negative connection, and we're away. Now I'll just finish running the second speaker cable to my other speaker, and because we're putting two speakers off this, this wire here will go to speaker number two and connect up in just the same way, red to positive, and black to negative. Now I don't know if you noticed, but that's the installation done and powered up. All we've done is just powered up the amp, we've installed the speaker and we've connected it. Really, that could not have been any simpler. So clearly there's nothing complicated about installing these speakers. And then the final touch, the grill that goes onto the speaker here is attached via magnets, meaning that there's no aligning tiny tabs and then them slipping out as it twists into place, it just snaps on and can even be overpainted to match the ceiling colour. So that's the amp and the ceiling speaker installed. Now let's have a look at the wireless active speaker. So this is designed to sit on a worktop and has this kind of quite interesting shape to it, meaning that you can either sit it in the corner of a kitchen or you can lay it on its side and use it in this position. Again, it will connect via Wi-Fi, meaning that you can use it to stream your favourite music, controlled by the easy to navigate and operate Hamilton app. But the real strength of this speaker, and indeed the whole system, lies not just in the high quality audio, that's obviously a given, but rather in its flexibility. The speakers are fully compatible with each other, meaning that I can operate this wireless active speaker as a standalone unit, 
but I can also link it up to the wireless amp that I installed earlier and have them all working together to create a complete audio experience. And all of this can be achieved via the Hamilton app. They do not need to be hardwired together. This flexibility and adaptability means that you can add to the audio system in your house in stages, instead of outlaying for it all at once, maybe adding some for the kitchen renovation, then when the lounge gets decorated, a pair of ceiling speakers, and then maybe a couple of active speakers in the kids' rooms as they get a little bit older. And the best thing is that all the amps and active speakers can operate independently, so everyone can enjoy their own sounds in different spaces, and then all be linked together to play the same music, which might be perfect for a party or something like that. So with simple connectivity, flexibility and expandability, coupled with quality materials like Kevlar cones and titanium tweeters, Hamilton have a serious contender for your audio installation in their wireless audio system. Thank you very much for watching.